Okay, in the finals. Well, isn't this a hand? Arr. Five line hands, certainly not good. I am on the draw, so it should be able to mulligan, but they're both removal spells, right? Right. Well, I'm going to mulligan. I've learned not to keep five land hands. This kind of sucks, but one land gets us a divination. If it's a swamp, we get a two, three. It's barely going to five. If we draw more lands, we get an area worshippers. Pretty not awesome. Ooh, a blue deck. A blue aggressive deck, it would seem. Not what I want to be looking at. Ooh, but I did get a two drop, so that helps. We'll at least get to put some pressure down ourselves. Ooh, a mirror? That's fascinating. Ridiculously fascinating. This card does not seem to go in black. I shouldn't be complaining, nor should I be really criticizing, considering my deck is probably just as wonky. Maybe there's a lot more bestow going on with this with this guy. Read the bones? Okay. Not awesome, but I got my divination. If I'm a little bit on a race schedule, then I think I'm going to win that one. Suggestion is that this guy wants to be attacking at some point, which should happen now. Like right now. Go. Attack. There you are. Can't block. We're just going to put our dude down instead of divinate. Even though I do want to have my land drop next turn, um, I think just progressing the board will be nice. And I might just naturally grab her anyway. Alright. What you got? There's no bestow at four that matters, but turn five is going to start getting interesting, right? going to mill me? Ooh, two, no, just one good card. Feast of Dreams. But my Minimonic Wall was not meshed with, so that's cool. Hey, we get our Area Worshippers. All right, so we're in pretty decent shape here. Slowly but surely getting ahead on the race. Might even be able to attack with this, these area worshippers and the Felhide Minotaur next turn. Get some damage in, get a trigger. Ooh. Well, no, isn't that a thing? What a bummer. But my opponent... Yeah. Taking the area worshipper, I see. We'll be casting it next turn, I presume. It does mean I get to get some beats in. And then get another 2-2. Two, two. But not entirely sure how I get through my own Prescient Chimera. Let's start with the Divination, shall we? Ooh, Voyage's End. That's how we'll deal with it. Heh <laughs> heh. So yeah, my opponent's going to cast it next turn. And then we'll Voyage's End it back to our hand. Opponent does the ye old blocks. Will Void just end the Prussian Chimera? I assume my opponent wants to cast now, but maybe he has something better to do. I don't know. Um, but probably wants to start this onslaught. No! <laughs> That's really frustrating. Uh, okay. Well, my opponent's not playing the Chimera, so that's cool. It gives me a turn to get a 2 2 flyer on and do another attack, uh, at least with the Airy Worshipper. We're definitely going to go ahead and bounce the Return Centaur then. That means my opponent gets Oracle's Insight. Yeah, we're going to go with Tempo. This game's a Tempo game. Hmm. Flyer's good, but the Prisca is gonna do I'm gonna put it on the bottom because I actually want to draw like a two drop. As of right now. So my opponent gets the Oracle's insight. Is it turn? Not only oh, can you take anything? 
I guess either doesn't matter too much. But as soon as this guy leaves the battlefield, I do get it back. All right, has the oracles. It looks like it's enchanted on there, but it's not. We know this already. Ooh. And That's cool. God, that happened. Because I might still attack with... Uh... Oh, I want to pay three. I... Yeah, there we go. Ooh, Mnemonic Wall. That'll be great. All right, cool. So we're not in super dire shape. If I attack him with Iron Worshippers, we're good, because it's only three points of damage. Attacking with Felhead Minotaur kills the Brain Maggot. He dies, but I also get my Oracle's Insight back. But do I even want my Oracle's Insight back? I don't think I do. But it does force through two more points of damage, and we're on this race game. I actually like that quite a bit. I like being that aggressive. And I don't think my opponent's going to want to shit it off. We'll see. Just prevent the damage? Yeah, cool. So I got us that extra couple points there. Definitely going to make another bird token. Just to get those birds out. So once the Prussian Chimera is down, then we'll play the Mnemonic Wall. We'll get our Voyages in back, bounce it back, fly in and win. That's where we're at, at the moment. Well, those six can get hairy pretty soon. Although my opponent doesn't play a fire at six from hand. Ooh, that's good, actually. Because so my opponent's not choosing to play. My This can be any time, right? Turn against your hand, you choose an online card from it, but there's exile in your hand. You may cast a card from as long as it remains exiled, you may spin it. Yeah. So my opponent can do that whenever. Later on. Took my aerial formation. This mnemonic wall is actually getting pretty good. I get a feast of dreams with it, too. My opponent's pinging me away. Pretty sure I would have waited to bestow on the Triton short Stalker or whatever, but whatevs. Yeah, I'll take my free card. My free flyer. Ooh, and a follow-up? I really like that. So now, unfortunately, the area worshippers cannot attack, but I have four power going through in the air. That's still okay to get this game online. Especially now that there's just a bunch of lethal dudes hip hop happening for next turn. <laughs> well, my opponent is able to play enough creatures. Ooh, and a great merchant. One, two, three, four, five. Dude, I have flyers, don't they? Can I kill you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I can kill you. Although my opponent didn't have a blood and neither did I. I just drew it. But still, like, playing this guy and going down to one seems pretty precarious. But we're there. Yeah, flyers. Boink. All right, the mirror match. My opponent's going long. <sighs> Flyers seem good against my opponent. All right. There's a number of targets for Viper's Kiss, but I don't think any of the ones I saw I care about. There was the Maggot and the, uh, the Unblockable Dude. So it's only if there's really something nasty that my opponent... There's just something that just doesn't work well against my opponent. But I think the cards are good. This might actually be a grinding game to where Oracle's inside I want. Yeah, I don't think I care enough about those those particular one drops. That unblockable guy is a thing, but I have bounce and removal to get rid of it on its own. I don't need to like have to board in the uh, the Viper's Kiss. All right, this is definitely a keep. Ooh, 
wound. That's it's gonna give me a run for my uh, racing money. But the servant should help me get back into that. Turn to three card creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Okay, good to know. Don't want to kill too many things apparently. Ooh, and a siren. That's very nice. Do I play that first? No, I'll play the, I'll play the Servant. My opponent wants to be doing that on the combat damage race, but that's fine. Servant will hold back the Gnarled Scarhide. If it doesn't, there's a trick. We haven't seen that from my opponent yet. Could be a Bestow Creep. No, it's only one. It's going to be at four mana. Ooh, that's really grand. Yeah, so I'm happy just to get this guy out to slow things down on my opponent's end and start bashing through in the air. That seems quite nice. And then we've got a follow-up play or removal spell on the, on the next turn. Uh, it's in a follow-up creature or removal. So that's nice. Yeah, yeah. I might even just let my opponent do two damage to me if my opponent were attacking and attacking a, a combat trick. Ooh. Warming Siren versus Warwing Siren. And a Dark Betrayal. Well, would you look at that. Okay, now I'm a little worried. Just a little bit. What do I draw? Anything? Do I get to draw a card this turn? I want to draw a card this turn. Nope, no cards this turn. Nah, I got a card. That's kind of good, because I do want to be getting into some of those higher manas. I'm tempted to put the Nyx Infusion on the Warming Siren just so I can bash in again, and this guy has to grow before it gets super relevant and play the race game. But that would be my entire turn. I'm not in love with that. I also just don't like going late against my opponent, though I do have a nice late game hand. Hmm. Huh. Do I play Warming or do I play Nyx Infusion and keep bashing? I think it's going to have to be Warming Siren. I think it's got to be. The Voyage's End might bounce the Warming Siren later after some type of COD is, you know, trying to make it all bolstered up. I want to draw an island. Play the Chimera. That'd be nice. That'd be super nice. What else you got? Ooh, Corsetides. All right, Flyers. We're in Flyers mode. Island. Hmm. Not horrible, but definitely not good either. Attacking with Warwing Siren does nothing. Yeah. I think I'm just going to do a Nyx Infusion on the Corsetides, because it can actually bash through right now, and that's what I'm most worried about. So I might as well do that while my opponent can. My opponent can't really quick get a whole lot back at the moment. Let's keep the status quo one for one a little bit. Do we draw that second island? Then we're in good shape. Tap the island, even though I have trying tactics, to kind of not suggest that. Ooh, yeah, this is where Voyages end. It's going to have to come in because now I'm taking a bunch in the air. Man, if I just get one island, it'd be great so I can play my 3 drop and have Voyage's End. Oh, uh, Griptide's okay because at least it uses my mana all the way. So we're going to bash in for 3, but then this Gnarled Scarhide gets to come through. So maybe I do just keep the War. Because I'm behind, I have to keep the Warwing Siren back. Yeah, we'll just bash in for 2 right now. Okay. Cast uh, ability trigger on the attack. Targeting who though? Isn't it me? Do we know yet? Oh, self. 
I could have put the the siren <sighs> on there. That's what I was looking for. If my opponent was targeting himself, I would have easily have gotten rid of the. Uh, The siren, because that's just a flyer out of the way, and I'm winning by flyers. Glad that gray merchant got gone, though. That's pretty cool. Yay! And we got this dude. All right. Cool freaking beans. So I think we do attack in for f three right now. No, I like this guy's holding stuff back. There's a lot more coming through on the ground. And the one point of damage isn't particularly relevant at the moment. So my opponent's trying to get value out of the font. I do want to preserve my life total because it looks like this gray merchant is going to come back soon. So I don't want to get, you know, too hit by these guys on the ground. I like that next turn I have Felhide Minotaur to keep the ground game going and have a Voyage's End. Three target creatures. There's three, right? One, two, three. Yeah. So my opponent can blow the font if my opponent wants to. But it's so slow. I mean, my opponent's going to be pretty far low on life by the time that actually happens. There's that siren we knew about. Six is good, but I think I like having... I'm considering just bouncing the Warring Siren, getting in for five this turn. Maybe even six. Two, two turn clock? My opponent can't blow and do this at the same time. But then I only have one blocker on the ground. So I'm taking one, two, three, four, five, six myself on the crackback. Which puts me really low. And if you know me, you know I like to play conservatively. So we're just going to rock in the Chimera right now. Oops. I want to leave two blue up. Let's see what my opponent wants to do here. All right. Going in for some attacks. We'll happily do like. Thing is, Voyage's End isn't really Grand Gnarled Scarhide. Well, I guess it's okay because thin things can't block. So, but we're going to definitely try to uh, eat some, some dudage here. I'm doing this because if I if my opponent does like do a combat check on like return centaur, I will voyages end it, um, and I don't want the Nyxborn trying to be voyages ended because then my opponent can bestow it, and that's not too awesome. So my opponent just pushed through two points of damage. Why? Because a gray merchant. What's my opponent doing here? Yeah, so my opponent's grabbing the Grey Merchant. Gonna gain some life. Is there a way for me to win this turn? This guy can't block. This guy can't be blocked. If I bounce the, this, the Warming Siren now, I can do three, four, five, six in the air. My opponent's at three. I have at least four points of damage coming to me next turn, so I'm at four. That's super precarious. So I'll only be able to block two dudes. Huh. This is tricky. Three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight. So we're going to have to stay on the defense. That's kind of lame. I do think I need to uh, Voyages end this turn. And I think it's going to be the Return Centaur, because I don't care about the uh, the Flyer right now. And it's one less Devotion. Return to Reveler. I don't want another land. But at the same time, like I can just play a Benthic Giant if I'm going to play a Return to Reveler. So it's not that relevant to the board state. Ooh, Train Tactics. That might be exactly what I want. So I can attack in with both these guys. Train tactics them for blocks. I like that. That gives me two extra blockers and does damage. I'm taking three damage next turn, down to five. I'll have one, two, three, four blockers for one, two, three, four, five days, but they're all low power stuff. Yeah, let's go ahead and tack in with the Warwing Siren and the Prussian Chimera. And they just hold up train tactics. Opponent takes three, prevents that one damage. Train Tactics wouldn't have killed it, so there's no real reason for me to do that. Opponent's going to go back up to nine and have a, still a good board state, but I'm hoping to get my opponent with this Train Tactics to kill some of the creatures here. Yeah, it looks like we're going to get there. And the scry is nice. Don't even think about that. Ooh. Siren Flyer trades with stuff? Yeah. Put you on top. Get another little tricky, tricky action. Now I have to decide how I'm actually going to do these blocks. Wait. Chimera on Warwing Siren? This guy has to get through. I can block the Gnarled Scarhide normally with my Fellhide Minotaur. So if I go there, that's like that. And I can just prevent a bunch of damage going this way. I like that quite a bit. Otherwise... Is there any way for me to kill something else? It's pretty much the best way, right? Because I definitely want to kill a Warwing Siren in the air. I'd have to double block anything else, because they're all two. And I don't want the Vapor Kingdom. Yeah, so I think that's what we're doing. Like that. Take two. And at least the Nyxborn Trine doesn't untap next turn. Where's my Warming Siren? It's like, oh, I see what's happening. There's a weird little moto glitch. I think that got us there. So we'll attack on the Flyers. Three, four, five, six, seven. Go down to, my opponent's down to two. I'm at three. At least one's coming through. There's these other dudes. I think we just attack in with the Vaporkin and the Prussian Chimera. Because that doesn't change the clock at all. And we definitely want to be careful about uh, being so long. Like another Great Merchant can totally get us.
My opponent has outs. Things like counselors, another great merchant. Sorry, counter spells. Well, maybe not counter spells. Counter spells and something. There's that one returned centaur in hand, plus two other cards. Unblockable stuff. You know that uh that four four Alciad comes down, or is it a Dryad? I forget. But it's the four four blue dude that costs five, I think. And then make something unblockable. We already have one unblockable, plus the Grand Merchant unblockable would get it. There are options. Oh. Oh! You control a chain of creature, chain of creature gets plus one, plus one, and it has flying. Bummer. What a good card. <laughs> but my opponent can't attack with it, right? Because it has summoning sickness for my opponent, doesn't have haste? No. Okay, can't block it anyway. Oh, can we get there? It's a 3-5? Ugh. If I attack with all the flyers, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, we're there. Yay! It's because there's only one flyer, right? Yeah, yeah, only one flyer. Got it. Woohoo! Um, so I'm very happy about that win. Obviously, I'm always happy about wins, but in this case, because I definitely was not feeling too cool about my deck. We didn't come up against any other super sweet decks, so I'm sure that's why we did. I did pretty okay. Uh, but I don't think that deck was necessarily uh, something that I would anticipate making it and winning it in the finals. So. Happy day. Happy, happy day. Hope everyone enjoyed watching it, as did I. Enjoy playing it. Uh, please always uh, comment, subscribe, like on YouTube, um, or comment on manabluff.com. Love the comments that I've been getting, and I love um, people's really great observations of my gameplay and helping me get better and better as I continue to do these videos. Um, or you can also find me on Twitter, underscore, underscore, RJH, underscore, underscore, and uh, start a conversation with me. That's always super fun. Uh, until next Friday, have a wonderful week. I hope you get to watch some of the Pro Tour coverage that I'm going to be checking out as well, especially the limited stuff. And until then, have a wonderful day.